एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज मी निकी सिन्हा एंड आई एम हियर विद ऑल द डिटेल्स रिगार्डिंग द लेटेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन व्हिच हैज बीन रिलीज्ड बाय सीयूटी all right now apart from this we will also be discussing the various changes which has been announced by cuet in 2024 apart from that we will be discussing the examination pattern the hybrid mode how the examinations will be held the domain subjects everything that you need to know regarding your examination will be covered in this one video you need not go anywhere else so without further ado let's start now Before I delve into the details, let me explain what CUET is. So, as the full form suggests, it is a common university entrance test. Now, this is one test that you have to give to get admission in all the central universities of India, which recognizes this as their entrance exam. So earlier you had to give separate entrance exams for all the universities that you wanted to get admission in but now you just have to give one examination which will cover all the central state deemed universities which recognizes CUET as their entrance exam and by giving this one exam you are eligible to get admission in all of these universities provided that you are uh, able to fulfill the criteria which has been set by the university so it is an all india test and this is conducted by nta which is the national testing agency now you can seek admission not just in undergraduate but in doctorate postgraduate undergraduate and integrated postgraduate diploma certification courses and research programs as well now this entrance exam is recognized by various central universities of india apart from that it is also accepted by a number of state universities and deemed universities of india now once we are clear in this let us understand the changes which has been announced in 2024 Now the first change which has been announced is this is something really great that the examination for the first time is going to be conducted in the hybrid mode what is the hybrid mode so hybrid mode basically means that the examination will either be conducted on the basis of pen and paper on omr sheets or it will be a computer based examination subjects for which there will be more than 1 lakh applicants will be conducted on the basis of pen and paper and the subjects which have a lesser number of applicants will be conducted through computer based so suppose if history has an application of more than 1 lakh then all the history examination across india in cuet will be conducted on the basis of pen and paper the candidates can now choose a maximum of 6 subjects from all 3 sections so earlier it was 10 but now it has been reduced to 6 from all the 3 sections now the entire examination process this year will be completed in 15 days because earlier it used to take around a month now you know why this hybrid program is so good because this hybrid program will make a lot of centers available because a number of schools colleges and universities can be converted into centers for conducting cuet examination even if they don't have computers because now they're conducting examination on the omr sheet or the pen and paper base so this really helps the students who are living in rural areas they will not have to travel to cities so the travelling cost is minimized their staying cost is minimized and they can go and give the exam from the comfort of their homes so this is actually very good because it gives an equal chance to all the students across india to appear for cuet examination and get admission in their dream colleges and universities now this is something new which has been announced that is the students have to follow a dress code all right so light clothes with long sleeves are not allowed but if you are wearing something like that and this is a cultural obligation then nta has to be made aware of it 
also you have to come an hour early uh, on the center so that all the frisking and checking can be done without creating any hassle for other students also if you have to wear something for medical reasons then also nta has to be made aware of it all right so uh, sandals open sandals and slippers with uh, low heels have been permitted but shoes are not allowed and if you are wearing any of it for any medical reason nta has to be informed beforehand and if you are wearing something with long sleeves and it is light colored you have to if this is a cultural obligation for you you have to come to the center an hour earlier for all the checking and the frisking all right so this is something new which has been announced so please keep this in mind okay let us talk about the hybrid mode now as i told you the hybrid board basically means that the examination will be conducted either on a computer basis or on pen and paper and omr basis right so whether the examination will be conducted uh, in the pen and paper basis or on the basis of a uh, computer that will be decided on these three factors first of all the states having the maximum number of applicants all right or the state having the highest number of applicants they will be allowed to conduct their examination or they will have to conduct the examination in what they will have to conduct the examination in the pen and paper or on the pen and paper basis okay subjects which have more than 1 lakh application so subjects which have more than 1 lakh application or which has more than 1 lakh applicants they will be conducted on the basis of pen and paper and also the areas which do not have computer facilities like the rural areas of india they will definitely be able to conduct the examination on the basis of pen and paper and also the people who are living in rural areas will not have to migrate will not have to you know travel anywhere else for the exams so in short subjects having more application will be conducted in one shift only on the pen and paper mode okay let's talk about the subject and combination so students this time have only been allowed to choose six subjects okay now uh, earlier it was 10 but uh, hardly anyone was actually applying for 10 combinations or 10 subjects so it has been reduced to six now this will include either four or five domain one or two language and a general test wherever applicable so you have these two combinations available option 1 is four domain one language and a general test option 2 is three domain two language and a general test let us take a look at the combination that you can opt for so suppose you are opting for a university which does not need you to give a general test so let's take that uh, into account first so you are not giving no general test okay total has to be 6 okay so you can choose either four domain plus two language or five domain plus one language okay this can be your combination and suppose there's an uh, there these are universities which require you to give general test okay so what combinations can you opt for so you will have general test plus two language this is equal to 3 so you can opt for three domain okay other uh, combination is general test plus one language which comes down to two all right so you can opt for four domain so these are the combinations that you can have these are the combinations that you can choose from but the total number has to be 
it cannot be more than that. Okay. Now, let us consider these other important information which you must know. First of all, the online submission of application form begins on 27th Feb uh, and ends on 26th March 2024. The last time that you will be able to submit is at 11.50 p.m. on 26th March 2024. Last date for fee payment is 26th March 2024. Correction in particulars is from 28th to 29th March 2024. Announcement of the city of examination is 30th April onwards. Downloading the admit card will be in the second week of May 2024. Date of examination has been tentatively announced between 15th May to 31st May 2024. But this is, this might change and the change is completely dependent upon the general elections. Whenever they happen, however they happen, the dates are going to change accordingly. Then the declaration of results will happen on 38 June 2024, but this is also subject to change on the basis of election. So, however, your examination dates are going to change. Similarly, your result declaration date is also going to change depending upon what? Depending upon whether there is an election, how the elections are held, what dates the election are held on. Moving ahead. Now, Let's talk about the broad features of the exam. So the mode of test is hybrid. We've already had a discussion on this. The test pattern is going to be objective with MCQs. Fine. The medium is going to be 13 language. Now the medium of the question paper. You can choose the medium from the 13 languages which have been provided to you. So the medium of the question paper will be the language that you choose. Now this option has to be chosen when you are filing for your application or when you're filling your online application then only you have to select the language in which you want your question paper there are 13 languages which are available but please also remember that if there is any discrepancy in the question uh, the english version of the question or the english language question will be considered as the final if the english language is correct then it is correct if it is wrong then it is open for discussion but the english language will be taken as the final uh, final option to decide whether it's right or wrong okay but yes you can apply for 13 languages as your medium now <laughs> this is the syllabus so language, whichever language you opt for, you will be tested according to your reading comprehension, literary aptitude and vocabulary. All right. Domain will have your class 12 syllabus. It might also include uh, your deleted syllabus till now. This is what we know. Okay. So deleted syllabus might also be there. General test will have general knowledge current affairs, mental ability, numerical ability, logical and analytical learning. Fine. All right. Now, so let us see the number of questions which are there. So in all the domain subjects, including language, you will have a total number of 50 questions out of which you have to answer 40. Okay. And in general test, you will have a total number of 60 questions out of which you will have to answer 50. Now, the time duration for this test for each domain, language, general is 45 minutes. Now, this 45 minutes is usually given to those who are opting for a uh, humanities-based domain subject, but science-based and commerce-based dom uh, domain subject like accountancy, physics, chemistry, maths, IP, etc., they will have the time duration of 60 minutes. So the examination will be conducted on multiple days in two to three shifts per day, depending upon the number of candidates and combination. Obviously, <clears throat> the subject which has more applicants will be uh, conducted in two or three shifts in, on multiple days. All right. Okay. 
Now, lastly, we have to discuss the choice of cities. Now, because of the introduction of hybrid mode, the number of cities, the choices of cities have definitely increased. Now, when you're filling out your application form, you will be given uh, to choose four cities of your preference where you can give your examination. Now, this four cities is dependent upon what? It is dependent upon your state of permanent address, wherever you're residing permanently and also wherever you are residing currently. But the sole discretion of giving you the city of your examination rests with NTA, rests with National Testing Agency. So they will take the decision depending upon the logistics, the number of applicants, uh, the amount of resources which is available in that particular city. So all that will be taken into account and then you will be given the city in which you will have your examinations. Now here you can't really change or argue about it. Whatever has been given by NTA will be final for you because that uh, because that decision has been taken, taking a lot of things into consideration. All right. So this is it for the video, guys. I really hope that everything that you wanted to understand, everything, all the questions that you had in mind have been answered through this video. If not, if you still have some confusion, if you still have some doubts, please feel free to address them in the comment section and we will definitely get back to you on how to solve it. All right. So I really hope this video was useful for you. I really hope that you would have all of your doubts cleared. So till then, this is me, Nikki Sinha, signing off. Please take care. Thank you.